Hey fellow foodies! For this week's Thai dish, I'm going to do a classic and super easy dish called Pad Ka Prao. You will just need a few ingredients for this dish. We will need some ground meat. I'm using half a pound of ground pork. But you can use beef, chicken, or any ground meat you like. We also need some onions or shallots, a few cloves of garlic, and some Thai chili. I'm using only one because I don't like it spicy, though you can use as many as you like or skip it altogether if you don't want it too spicy. Also, just a note that if you use lean meat like ground chicken or turkey instead of pork or beef, that because there is less fat, you will need an extra tablespoon of oil when you're cooking, otherwise it will come out dry. The next step is combining the sauce, which is 1 tablespoon of fish sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a tablespoon of dark sweet soy sauce to give it some color, or you can also use equal amounts of sugar and soy sauce if you can't find dark soy sauce. And I'm also adding half a tablespoon of sugar to balance out the saltiness from the fish sauce. We're just going to mix this all together and put it on the side. Our next ingredient that makes this dish is holy basil, which is the gaprao. I was lucky enough to have a plant that I have been trying to keep alive since winter, but it's not producing as many leaves as I'd like. So I will do a combination of this basil and regular Thai basil, or you can use Italian basil as well. It will give it a slight different flavor, but will still make a great dish. We'll just pick some of the leaves and it'll make about 2 tablespoons worth. The last distinctive ingredient is the fried egg, which is kaidao. You will need at least 2 tablespoons of oil and fry your egg to crisp the outside, but leave the egg yolk soft and runny. Then we're going to put this aside and we're going to cook our rest of our ingredients. I'm using 1 tablespoon of the oil from my fried egg to not waste it. Add in our shallots or onions and cook for a minute so until soft. Then we're going to add our ground meat and then cook it until it's almost done. Next, we're going to add in our garlic and chili and cook for another minute. And then add in our sauce mixture and then toss and combine. Then lastly, we're going to add our basil leaves and then serve. You can also add in some Asian green beans or spinach to this dish if you'd like to give it some color. This is usually served on top of white rice and then we're going to top it off with our fried egg. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, click like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching!